Yes, Willis. Welcome back for another episode of Bro Royalty. All right, I had to say the name correctly because I know I was gonna mess it up, but it's all good, guys. I am actually liking this game, and I'm seeing a lot of forums and stuff like that. And of course, this game is not a brand new one, of course, but it's brand new on the Swill Entertainment channel. And if you guys are brand new on the Swill Entertainment channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and also make sure that notification bell is turned on. You guys are doing a great job at that, and I really appreciate that, especially guys that are coming back for the returning videos. I really appreciate that as well. Um, but if you guys can, in the comments below, if you're watching this video, let me know what video or which game brought you to the channel, okay? Because I know you guys, sometimes you might see a lot of different games on the channel you're like well that's not what i what i signed up for he's not playing my, my game but what brought you guys there so i can see what's going on because we do a lot of games on the channel i know trust me all right and i had to also consolidate my other two gaming channels because i don't think i want to do three so that's what i did I, I just consolidated all three video game channels and that's neither here nor there but let's talk about some royalty man royalty 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 all right so people complain uh compare this game to hustle castle yeah, it is almost like Hustle Castle in the aspect of like, you know, as far as like the sales like they have right here. Okay. I could buy the Chicken Commando set, uh, beginner set for $4.99. It says the old price is $24.99, but I don't believe that. I will end up buying this. I was trying to be, trying to figure out if I would like this game or not. I kind of do, guys. I kind of do. Okay. And then we have some more little 99 cent Evil X equipment, which is going to be for our little warrior looking guy. All right, so I can probably spend the extra $6 to do so, all right? Um, right now, we're having babies right now, guys. And the funny thing about it, now this, this is the couple that I had that made like one before, and I've tried like six times. It takes 15 minutes for you to do so, but when they say no, it kind of like, they're like, uh-uh, mm -mm, no, and they have like a little fart sound, and then you have to start all over again. Let me see. Oh, it made it. All right, cool, this is their second one, all right? So you can't use this living room until... The baby's born. Now you can keep these guys in here. It's gonna take 21 minutes with the two people inside, but I'm gonna pull my one guy out. He should have pulled out, but he didn't. I'm gonna put her back in here and make some more money. So it's gonna be 30 something minutes here. I need my money. Gotta get our money up, guys. All right, so 39 minutes to get that. So 40 minutes to get those. And then if you have kids, it takes about an hour and a half for those kids to cook up and then grow up. So let's see what we got here. We got a couple of them here running around aimlessly. Let's see how many stars he has. Two stars. All right, so right now we have two star guys. And I think I can put this guy in here. Yes, I can. All right, so we can have two. So let's put two in here in the treasury so we can start getting some uh, extra cash. All right, so what I'm trying to do, my highest guy that I got one time recently was uh, this guy right here, Chin Nuts. All right, four stars. Okay, now I think it's going to be pretty much like Hustle Castle. And I don't want to compare this game to Hustle Castle, but it, it has too many different aspects or too many similar aspects that make it very comparable. Okay, a lot of my guys are two stars and three stars, and I wanna get away from that. Now, whenever it comes to the stars here, it just makes it to where you can, let me see. It's gonna cost 2,000 diamonds? It helps their potential, okay? So right now, let me see, Dweller Potential has four stars. Their profession training is limited to 40 units, all right? But if I increase this one to five stars, um, it'll increase that to 50 units, which makes it easier, I guess, to make your guy, I guess you could say makes your guy powerful, makes him stronger. So that's what you want to do, all right? So you want to make sure you knock that out. And then there's all kinds of different things, guys. You got to upgrade your stuff. We had another kid running around. Where'd he go? I'm playing on this big giant phone here, my screen. That's why you might see the little black lines on the side is because this game puts it in screen. It's, it's kind of like different, guys. I'm sorry. But it's this phone size. I thought I had two. Who's this guy? He has two stars. So I guess I'll put him here. We can't, oh, we can't put two. I'll train him as a fighter for now. He'll be like a filler fighter. <laughs> That's what I'll do. But you can always go in and it'll be free for the training and stuff like that. Just gotta be like this, click on that and then whatever. All right, so we'll just let him stay there for now. And also guys, whenever you guys do your put on the best, you can put on the best there. So whatever room they're in, you put on the best, basically, as far as their gear goes. All right, I haven't seen any training facilities yet. Um, I haven't unlocked the lion yet. I have to be throne room level four to do so. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, this game has too many aspects that I like, I really do. I have four people in my fighting squad right now. I know I'm talking a lot. I'm trying to get a lot into a, trying to cram a lot in the video here, guys. I don't wanna make this too long of a video, but I wanna make it as informative as possible. 
okay? And I know a lot of people do play this game, but I just found out about this and I was looking at the comments yesterday that somebody made a comment at one of my videos and they were like, wow, Tribe Royalty. Now I heard about the game, but I didn't really like look at that, look at it or anything like that. I just kind of like, just went like, eh, whatever. I never played it, but I downloaded it yesterday, liked it a lot. So that's why we're making an episode here. All right, so if you look at the main map here, we have to go ahead and get some resources off people. Like as far as like PVP, you can do your campaign, which will put you against monsters, or you can fight against people and take their resources and upgrade your facilities. All right, so right now I think we can probably take this dude. Um, I don't have any special abilities made because I didn't have any mana. Now there is one thing that I really just don't like about this game in the combat system. And I'm gonna show you guys, I think the next battle, if I can show you. It didn't show up on this one, but I'm gonna show you guys. It's not really a big thing. It's just like, I'm kind of lazy when it comes to things like this. Um, let's see what we got here. This is pretty cool, this guy raps. <laughs> All right, so let's go to the next battle here. I'm gonna show you guys. Now, I don't know why it's not showing up on this one, but you can move your guys around. Usually it tells you where to put them. Um, you wanna put your guys strategically so they can um, attack some folks. And if you have daggers, of course, the dagger is going to be like your assassin. That's the guy's going to port behind the enemy, and he's going to um, attack him from, from the back. Okay, and if you have the little warrior guy, he's going to be the guy that's going to charge. You want to put him strategically to charge in um, somebody, either mages or archers or whoever you want to have him charge. Then you have your mages doing their little thing. You want to try to put them behind something so they can kind of get some kind of a protection. And also, same thing with the the archers. You want to put them behind something so they can get some kind of protection as well. But you want to make sure that they're in range to where they can actually attack stuff. And that's what I've seen so far by playing this game. The short time that I have been playing this game. I've been probably been playing for like maybe a few hours. And that's about it. All right. So it's all good. All right. So this game also has a premium also. So let's go into that real quick. Let's retreat. And I will definitely be purchasing, purchasing a premium um, bundle as well. Where is it at? All right. Here's premium right here. So this is what we're gonna get with that, okay? If you get the premium, which I'm not trying to tell you guys to buy this, because I'm, I'm not being sponsored to tell you to just buy this. Um, just a friend that's the, uh, talking to another friend. All right, so you get in the tribute chest, additional rewards are available. Resource collection rate increased by 25%. Additional resources for winning PVP battles. Um, retain 30% resources from looting attack PVP mode. Change the battle speed, uh, which is cool. Increased num uh, number of tombs attempts by three. Rooms are built and upgraded faster. The reduction of time and crafted items, yada, yada, yada. Spells are crafted faster. Spell production limit is expanded to six. Okay, so I will probably buy the 15 day one just to see what's what's going on because it is like, like I said, Hustle Castle is pretty much the same thing. And I really like that. So it's, it's pretty cool. All right, so I will be getting that. Now, also on the map, we have a mysterious tomb. So this is what they were saying. You want to clear this up. So I did one already, but now it says I have two of two. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter this thing and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. You're just gonna fight the little monsters and hopefully not suck, you know? So everybody looks like they're pretty much strategically placed already enough. So we'll just go from there. But you always still wanna make sure you have your guys leveled up in training. You wanna always train your fighters and you always wanna have people on deck, always. Have your guys on deck so you can do your stuff from what I've seen so far. All right, I haven't played any game yet, but you stick tuned with the, stay tuned with the journey, guys. You guys will see everything unfold. So I think I'm gonna stick this one out. I'm gonna put this in a rotation. Now, if you guys wanna see this on rotation, let me know in the comments below. I know you made it this far. Rotation, please, okay? I will definitely be playing this game a lot. Maybe not make a lot of videos on it, but I'll be playing this game a lot. And I should be making some spells. <laughs> All right, so we got fireballs and we have um, healing field. Don't think I need the healing field one. Oh, we gotta make them. Oh, snap. All right, that's why we're sitting there. That's why we're sitting there trying to make it. So, whatever. Spells are a thing, you know, that's like a little luxury, if you wanna say it like that. But that's pretty much what I got for this one here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed and found something informative in this game. Like I said, this is not a brand new game. It's not an old game either. Um, this will probably help people that haven't played the game yet and other things like that. All right, but stay tuned for the next episode. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you swillies on the next one. Peace.